realize that, that every time I get a package from Natasha, I look so disheveled and like filming on my bed. I just ripped off the shipping label, um, but I had to grab my camera and film it now because Natasha never fails with the packaging and presentation. Uh, first of all, shrimp mail. Second of all, I feel like this is like a PR package that I get from Natasha every time um, we send each other stuff. Uh, so this is actually for a trade. I actually need to send my portion of the trade off to her. She has already spoiled me because I bought a pair of socks from her last shop update and she sent me um, her sticker sheet, her Patreon. Patreon, I'm not, I am a patron, but I'm not in her physical mail tier, but she sent me her holiday shrimpy, right? Jolly good times shrimp sticker sheet and a very cute note. Yes, I will treat myself to some fake eggs. I always talk about the silly little just egg that I buy. And it's like bottled vegan egg, but it's like really expensive and I only buy it on sale. Anyways, first off we have this messenger bag or messenger bag? It is a messenger bag, right? <gasps> so cute. Okay, so I have this year was the f this year no last year was the first time i bought a fanny pack and i am in love with tiny bags because whenever i have to do the laundry um <laughs> it's really nice to have like an extra bag because the laundry bag that i have is like a backpack so i can't wear my actual backpack so i have like this instead oh there's okay i love when things are small compact and has a lot of pockets so details we have shrimpy and then we have two very edgy, very much Avril Lavigne safety pins, and then not that sad keychain, metal keychain, the quality. Also, this bag is so durable. It's like, I remember watching in your vlog, you were talking about like freaking out over the material over the first sample, and like the, this, this is so much better. Two pockets, one that zips right here. I'm, I'm sure y'all know how, how a zipper works. Um, and then a little velcro pocket here. And then on the inside, there's like an inner pocket um, along the, the part of the bag that faces your body. And then more of the box. I think this is the, the sh new shirt that she has. Um, let's see. Ooh, I like when people silk screen the logo, like the, the actual logo and the sizing onto the neck rather than a tag. Oh, look. And then this is like my favorite accent of clothes when there's like a little tag on the sleeve. So cute. I'm going to change it. I'm going to wear it right now. The rule is to always tuck in the shirt. <laughs> All right. These are my pajama pants, but we have shrimp winky, shrimp flirty. Or is this one the flirty side? I don't know. Okay, continuing. So next we have some prints and I already see a risograph print inside and there's another print in here that I really like. It's one of her Patreon prints. First of all, love the colors on this one. It says better days are coming. And on the bottom it says yoku dekimashita. Doesn't that mean I've done a lot of good things, right? Ooh. Ha. This was the little Patreon print that I was referring to postcard then we have oh, our sapphic witches look at them this very much gives me hi hi puffy amayumi vibes wait natasha i actually have this exact print oh but you have this one signed. maybe did, did you sign the other one too maybe i will gift one of the prints to the friend and i'll keep the signed copy but you can see there's like illustrations in this character this one i love it's like this ice cream girl and I think it's a three color risograph print and I just love the fisheye look. If you haven't even seen Natasha's vlogs, I don't know what you'd be using for that fisheye look. Probably like an actual lens. I really like this a lot. I need to buy more frame. It's so hard to find a square frame. <laughs> it's a little shrimpy in a car and it says on my way to fuck shit up, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I think in here we have stickers. Um, I already have this one. Oh, we have the pride shrimpy. I love the like the die cut waviness and little flag on the temper head. Um, and then even this one, so cute. 
I really like this clear sticker too. It says hang in there. And then small shrimp car and then big shrimp car. And then we have the little, the little shrimp witch and the ghost. And then the gnome. And then I think this, these were like a two sticker set that came with that Patreon postcard. And they're so cute, so pretty. I love the colors. There was another sticker in here. And then we have the socks. So we have the happy shrimp socks. Let's open this one first. Oh, it's like a sleeve. I like that there's like no plastic because what am I supposed to do with that stupid little plastic tag that like, you know, when socks are like, yeah, <laughs> this is so cute. Julian, look at these socks. Oh yeah, those are hard. Is that a shrimp? Yes. You're telling me a shrimp fried those socks? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put on, because she sent me two pairs of socks, I'm going to put one on each foot. Whoever is watching this video and has like an odd foot fetish, I'm cursing you. All right, and then the second one, limited edition. And, oh, they're embroidered. Oh, wait, they have like two different faces? Okay, wait, then I can't wear, damn it, okay. <laughs> Hold on. We have Winky and then unamused heart embroidered. And then on the inside, sad. And on the peats, on the bottom of the peats, it has sad shrimps. Let me put on the other sock. So we have, Sad shrimp. <laughs> oh, it says it on the foot! Sad shrimps. Socks. Also, the way that Natasha, like, did her whole, like, advertising for this line of, like, this whole, like, series that she did looked so cool. Like, straight out of, like, a Japanese fashion magazine. I appreciate that. Alright, this one's gonna be hard to share because there's, like, shrimp? No, not shrimp. Heart <laughs> on the side. Sad on the inside, sad shrimps on the foot. Oh, there's more stuff in the box. You know, the funniest thing is that I am allergic to shrimp. You know, w before I went vegan, I was just like severely allergic to shrimp and shellfish. So this is just like almost comical. But I love, I love shrimp mascot so much. Super cute keychain, okay? Shrimp stand and it's like clear and it's pink and glittery and in the shape of a heart. This is another keychain. It has a little flower shrimpy and a vase. And I like the green, the green keychain here. And she sent me little like snacks. We have the Maggie curry noodles. The day that I found out that Maggie is a Swedish brand and isn't like a South Asian or like Southeast Asian brand, like blew my mind. I'm sure Natasha did check that this is like vegan friendly. Yes, it is vegan friendly. So I can make myself some vegan friendly um, Maggie curry instant noodles. If you've never tried the Maggie sweet and sour sauce, it's like sweet, sour, and spicy ketchup sauce, right? Please get it. It's so good. And then we have this. What is this? It's like a, it looks like a crunchy snack. I'm not sure what this is. I don't think... I can have this one because in the allergens it already says uh, soy fish, crustaceans, milk, egg. Julian, do you want this one? I don't know what it is. Ah, green peas and prawn flavored snack. Was this for Julian? I can't have prawns. <laughs> is it good? I'm smacking. Okay. Pretty good. We got Julian's approval. I don't know what this is. It says haw flakes. Like these little discs. Hmm. Oh, it's a fruit. Oh, I've seen these. Wait, isn't this like jujubes? Maybe I'm wrong. But they're really good. They're really, really tasty. It's like, it tastes kind of like apple. I feel like that's the American summary. <laughs> Natasha, thank you so much for sending me all of these wonderful goodies. I feel so spoiled every time. Cannot wait to send you your trade. Cannot wait for the day you get to visit New York so I can take you everywhere. <laughs> I love it so much and I cannot wait to find a square frame because all of your prints are like square formatted. And also thank you for the sweet message. I will buy my fake eggs. If you haven't already, Natasha L. Sad Shrimps, please go follow her. Please watch her videos. Go support her on Patreon. Um, just, just go check her out. Thank you so much, Natasha.
It's a video. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, it's brunch. It's twelve twenty-two. <laughs> Look, she was so kind. She bought me flowers, pita chips, and there is hummus in the fridge. Yes! <laughs> and then up there, I don't know how far uptown you can see, but you can mm -hmm. see a lot. the puzzle <laughs> don't get shy fix your puzzle come on <laughs> he's just so happy come on do the puzzle Start the video back, 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 start the video No, over. she can edit it out. Walk backwards. You need to see the show. <laughs> okay, okay, go again. Again, again, again. I'm sorry. Okay, you got it. Pose. Engage. Oh, that was so fast. <laughs> to hop into a call with Lee and Natasha and I'm very very excited. Right now it's 10 a.m. because it is around nighttime in Singapore right now where Natasha's from so where is my video? Where did it go? Oh there, there I am Hello. My speakers are also blown out. I did my makeup because I have group therapy later on in the day and I'm also gonna go out and do groceries and see my mom. So I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of makeup. But I'm literally wearing like sweats, so I am comfy. How cold is it where you guys are? I think it's colder where Lee is. It's 31 degrees. It's 36 degrees here today. I'm gonna stay comfy. Lee said the grind never stops. I couldn't eat the other snack, um, the one that was in the purple packet with the peas, and I gave it to Julian, and I couldn't figure out what the hot flakes were. And then I had to Google it while filming the unboxing. And it was really good. <laughs> Afternoon. Uh, I just got off of a Skype call with Lee and Natasha. We have been planning this for a while because Natasha recently moved and it's just really nice to catch up with friends. We usually text each other but I just realized it's the first time being on like a video call with Lee and Natasha but it was really nice. 
Over the weekend, my friend Jadel had birthday dinner plans at this really fancy restaurant called Beauty in Essex, and it was like modeled after a pawn shop. It was one of those fancy restaurants where the menu is very expensive, but the portions are like this big. But I had a really great time. Now that I am boosted up, and so is Julian and the rest of my friend group, I have been planning on hosting so I can have all of my friends over at our new apartment because we just haven't figured out a time that works for everyone. And at that dinner, I was just like looking around the table and I'm like, everyone's here. And then I asked if anyone had plans afterwards, so we just decided to come to the apartment and have a good time. We had like a very intense rock, paper, scissor tournament. I finally got the chance to play Taboo because we had enough players, and I think everyone had a really good time. It was just really, really nice. Kuni even started socializing with everyone. I'm very proud of him because he's usually a very like nervous cat. On Sunday, we had dinner with Julian's dad and his stepmom where they live in Brooklyn. And I actually just wanted to show you this art book they gave to Julian. Um, in my last vlog, I shared going to the Whitney Museum and we saw the Jennifer Packer exhibition and they gave him this art book that's now on our coffee table. And it's just so beautiful. Like it's so printed like really, really nicely. And the way that it's bound is kind of like the sketchbook that I'm using currently. It's like a book board. And I'm just looking at the information on the back and it's like printed in Germany. So like taking notes for if Julian or I ever do an art book at some point in our lives, because I think that is something that's, you know, like a milestone. Other than that, oh, I bought a new paper cutter. Here she is. Uh, I bought it at Target. It was like $30. It's pretty cheap. Um, and it's really lightweight and really sharp. Like my other guillotine doesn't have like a, a blade. I don't know how else to explain it, but this has a really nice sharp blade and it's a very compact size. And this was also Lee's recommendation. I have been looking into getting a desktop because I've had my laptop for nearly six years. Uh, I got it at the start of 2016. <laughs> Um, and it's held me down so far, but I feel like I'm really frying it from the inside out every time I video edit. So Natasha has the color iMac and Lee has the big boy 27 inch iMac. So I'm just debating between the two because whenever I make electronic purchases, I'm like, I'm going to buy this one time, close my eyes when I have to check out. Uh, but hopefully it'll last me for several years because uh, I do try to service my technology as best as I can unless it's like really on its last legs and needs to be replaced. But then my laptop will be a supplemental part of just like everything that I do. And I think having two monitors will also be really great for streaming. I know people suggest having a PC for streaming, but like I'm not like a serious <laughs> streamer. I haven't even started streaming yet. So um, we'll see. I think it'll be really good to have like a big monitor to do my work because most of the stuff that I do is digital anyways. same sweater for like four days in a row, maybe. I've been trying to use up the bread in our fridge by making a lot of French toast. A big change that I want to make for myself is making sure I stay active. Obviously in the colder months I'm less active because I'm less likely to go outside when the weather is brickety brick. It's literally 
snowing right now, finally. There was a moment where the snow was like rain and then I got sad with the snow turned back into snow. So I'm starting to do yoga again. Uh, I'm doing yoga with Adrian's 30 day like yoga challenge and I'm on day two right now. I'm really hoping to sort of have movement and stretching and exercise throughout my day, like every single day as much as I can. Um, I do live on the top floor of this building, so I do get leg day every single day whenever I have to get packages and stuff. But I also wanted to share this really nice little drawing challenge that I made for my patrons. It's for our like 1k goal on Patreon. And so every year I've decided to create a prompt list and they're just like fun little prompts to get some practice in just to have fun with. It doesn't even need to be final illustrations. There we go. Wow. <laughs> but I really like the way that I illustrate it. Oh my god, the lighting is awful. There we go, finally. I really like the way that I always use my natural handwriting to illustrate. I worked on this last night. I'm also making a sticker sheet. So this sticker sheet has the spot illustrations for my washi tape and it's gonna be like a clear sticker sheet. And I'm very excited for this. I'm actually like working with Sticker App to get this done. I've never tried Sticker App before and they were sort of giving me hell for like the cut lines and bleeds and I have to I have to shrink the stickers down so much that it looks very different from like when I started it off. But here is what it looks like. <laughs> Can you even see it? Wow, this is so overexposed. Hello? There we go. That is the sticker sheet. And it has all the little spot illustrations. I also made a big boy purchase. <laughs> so after I had that video call with Natasha and Lee, they were like, you should get a desktop. And I'm like, I haven't had a desktop since the seventh grade. Like after the seventh grade, I don't know what happened, but like I abandoned my monitor and my tower. And I had like a really like flimsy laptop like I had two different laptops throughout high school and both of them were trash <laughs> did not have any horsepower whatsoever weighed like 20 pounds super thick really bad the charge lasted like an hour and then at the end of high school I finally got um, this MacBook my first like ever like Apple laptop and this was also very expensive but I was like I'm the type of person that hates repurchasing technology and like paying little money for it but it being trash and just like having to discard it because like electronic waste is so toxic to the environment so I'm like I'm just gonna spend the money on this one thing <laughs> that will hopefully last me for like more than five years and here we are on year six um I got this laptop like from Apple with like settings to video edit however um I did have to service the battery once. The speakers, I think, got blown out because of the cooling fans when I video edit. So I have to get that <laughs> repaired. But other than that, like, she has been working just fine. Once I serviced the battery again, the charge was like a solid 13 hours. My big boy purchase was a freaking iMac. So I'm very excited to have like a, like a nice fancy desktop again. I think it'll streamline my work quite a lot. Uh, Natasha was saying to get like this, the smaller, like 24 inch colorful iMac, but I don't know what it is, but like the new colorful desktop and like the AirPod Maxes, they got, a, they had a little bit too much fun with the colors and it just doesn't look right. Like the front looks fine, but the back is like, not a nice complimenting color like some of them look good some of them look bad but either way i was like you know what i'm just gonna go for the big boy and lee was like i'm gonna send you my desktop specs and she has a 27 inch big boy and i'm like hmm how much space is this gonna take up on my desk so it's gonna take up quite a lot of real estate so i have to like rearrange my things because i have so many like little things lined up against my desk i'm very excited it was it was a lot of money <laughs> And I was on the fence about it last year because I was like, do I need a desktop? Mm, do I need a desktop? Julian like gave me the emotional support during checkout because I was like, mm, do I really need this? And he was like, yeah, you need it. And thankfully his sister came in clutch with that Apple education discount. Thanks, Samira. I want to see how efficiently it like helps me video edit and like process things and like just it's going to be really nice. 
I think it's gonna be really nice. It's been a it's been several years since I've had like a proper computer. I'm not gonna abandon my laptop, but it'll just be nice to like be in my desk working on my iMac. I also wouldn't be able to buy this without the support of like you guys, literally. Every single view, every single comment, every bit of engagement, and also my lovely, wonderful patrons. Ah, yeah, I showed this information on Patreon. They're like, yeah, yeah, business expense. So yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better about it, but we'll see what actually comes in the mail. <laughs> I am taking myself to the library to borrow a book, because I think having a due date on a book will uh, force me to finish it rather than buying it and reading halfway through and then putting it down and buying another book. So... That's not specifically what they were asking me about. Do you want to see the book haul? Do you want to see the book haul, Julia? Okay, it's gonna be on camera also for you. So I went in with the intention of getting this book, Just Kids by Patti Smith, because um, I remember last year when it was like one of Fran's like Zoom call talks and she mentioned she was reading this book and she really enjoyed it. So I think it's time I read it. And one of my patrons was like, I see Patti Smith written in your notes. You need to read a book by them. And of course I went in for one book and got like three more graphic novels. So I got like all Tilly Walden because I have not read any of Tilly Walden's graphic novels this one summer. This is Jillian Tamaki. My bad, sorry. These two are by Tilly Walden. This is by Jillian Tamaki. Did I tell you about that time that Lauren Tamaki subbed our class? And I was like, Lauren Tamaki as in Jillian Tamaki's sister? And she was like, yeah! And I was like, that is so interesting. And then these are by Tilly Walden. My bad. Uh, this one is Are You Listening? And this one is Spinning, so. I feel ashamed to say that I haven't read like any books by Tilly Walden or Jillian Tamaki. I feel like that's a sin as an illustrator. But yeah, that was my library haul. Goonie! Did you capture it? Yes. I'm so cute right now. <laughs> Good morning. It's a Saturday. I am dressed up all nice, um, just kick my plant. I'm wearing Natasha's t-shirt, sad shrimps. Look at the cute little logo right here. I am going out for hot pot for the very first time in my life because ever since going vegan like in 2016, I have never had hot pot before then. Hi, Guni. So there's a place in Flushing, Queens called Spring Shabu Shabu that has uh, a vegan hot pot soup base and so uh, I'm gonna go get some hot pot with Julian because my aunt has been like we should go uh, uh, eat out together as a family but um, it's just not aligning so she was like here's this money you and Julian go get something nice uh, so thank you auntie um, I also wanted to show the rest of my outfit um, this skirt was like given to me by a friend like several years ago these look like sheer tights but <laughs> so these are actually flesh-toned, fleece-lined tights in the darkest, darkest, deepest color I could find that would match my skin. Um, it's still too, like, beige, um, but then I put on sheer stockings over it. So it looks like I'm wearing sheer stockings, but it's not my leg underneath it. It's like warm tight, so I, my legs don't freeze. But yeah, that is uh, part of the outfit. Also, look at my makeup. I did some blue eyeliner and mascara. The eyeliner is wet and wild. The mascara is by Colourpop. I have my little Telfar baggy bag. Telfar Clemens is from Queens uh, and they're also black on so cute little lilac Telfar baggy bag. I just realized you're not even going to be able to see the outfit because I'm going to have a parka over myself. <laughs>
morning. It is now Sunday. Yesterday, Julie and I had a really fun outing. We went to Flushing, but before that, I went to the Steve Madden store in Herald Square and I got these like boots. These are the boots in question. They're called the Cypress Boots and I remember seeing them online and I thought these are the Bratstall boots. I must have them. And although the heel looks very intimidating, it's not that big of a heel, it's just more so platform. And I am not someone who wears heels, okay? I am all about that comfort. I will wear sneakers until I die. But that boot, it's actually pretty comfortable. The most annoying part is definitely like getting my foot in and out. You kind of have to like fold the top over. And it's definitely like not made for like all sizing. Like if you have like really big calves, like I don't, I don't know if it's gonna like cut off your circulation, but either way, I am I'm highly satisfied with these shoes. Um, am I scared that I was gonna roll my ankle? Yeah, like just a little bit, but I was able to like walk through Herald Square, like up and down the stairs, through the subway, like doing a little run to catch the train, just fine. We went to Flushing and I got hot pot. I got the vegetarian hot pot and I was packing it down, okay? See, if you're a meat eater, you eat like a few pieces of meat and you're full, but with vegetables, you can go ham. No pun intended. Pun intended? It was really nice trying out a variety of like vegetables and mushroom and tofu and noodles just kind of see what I like and what I want for next time. A really fun part of my day. I have been trying to go to this store called Magic Jewelry and they do this thing called an aura photo where they take your photo, they put your hands on sensors and they take a photo and they capture the color of your energy around you. I didn't know you had to make a reservation and it was all like 30 minutes right before closing, which I don't like to do that to any business, but the woman was kind enough to uh, take a photo of me anyways and do my reading. And so, funny enough, this is how my aura photo turned out. And it's like kind of weird how uh, these are sort of like the colors that I love. Um, this sort of represents like the energy and color reading from like last week, the aura. And this is for my next week and then the middle right here is the aura of my heart. She was going through the reading and I was just like, wow. The first thing she said was, do you go to bed very late? You need to sleep earlier. And I was like, mm. and then she interpreted the colors, which is like, there's indigo, there's purple, there's a bit of red and blue. And she was saying, I'm a person that trusts my intuition, someone who's confident, someone who's very empathetic towards other people, and also someone who's sensitive, which all those things are correct. And she was saying how I need to be less stressed out which is also very true, but I thought this was really cool. Also, I'm wearing Natasha's uh, shirt, so it's funny that you can barely see my face. I had my mask on and my hands are on the readers, and then there's just like a little winky face um, when I took the R photo, but that was really, really nice. I'm glad I got this done. I also finished this book uh, this morning, actually. I was reading on the subway, and then I went to Daiso, so I'll show you a mini Daiso haul. It's mostly just like art supplies and things here and there. <laughs> I got this like shrink plastic sheet. It's just like one sheet, but I was very much inspired by Megan's little shrink plastic earrings. And I wanted to just like have a bit of fun with this. I couldn't find where I kept like my shrink plastic. So I just bought like a single sheet. And then I bought some construction paper. I don't use fancy, fancy stuff to take product photos. It's literally like a piece of construction paper from Michaels, but this one's bigger and there's nicer colors in this. So I like, I like that a lot. And then I bought several sheets of, it's like a pack of pink construction paper. Cause sometimes I screw up and accidentally crinkle the paper or like I step on it. I have this like, pink pouch and I bought this specifically to hold my gouache if I ever travel and decide to like paint. I bought a Sudoku book. I've seen Megan like play Sudoku. What is it? Do you solve Sudoku? I don't know how to play Sudoku, solve, whatever. Uh, so I thought I could use some brain stimulation. I got the easiest level. I got a little Hello Kitty nail art pen eraser. I got some washi tape. I really love this blue. It also matches my nails. And then I got a crochet hook and a tweezer. I like that this crochet hook kind of has like a cushion grip. Wow, you can see the camera. <laughs> and then I bought this mirror that also has like a little back where you can pull it to stand. Cause I know I have my heart shaped like mirror, but it holds stuff at the bottom. And like the way you twist in the top of the mirror is like not secure. So sometimes if you pick up the top, the base will fall off and I'm not trying to have like my jewelry and perfume just like crash onto the floor and it's kind of like a hassle to bring it to the 
to my desk because I do my makeup on my desk. This is this is going to be an easier fix. It also folds flat, so I can stick it in my makeup drawer. And then I bought these two ceramic scallop plates. I have literally been on the hunt for these, so I'm glad that I was able to find them at Daiso. And I also bought some very thin, delicate sewing needles. I also popped into Uniqlo afterwards because I wanted to get a heat tech turtleneck and I have the black one since high school and it has still served me very 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 well and I'm not into fast fashion but I do like Uniqlo's heat tech line just because it's cold as hell here and it's very important to layer and so because I have a black turtleneck I just ended up buying a white one too just to like layer under t-shirts or dresses and stuff and I sure as hell know I'm probably gonna still be wearing this when I'm 30 so picked up that but that's sort of it for the haul. Oh, let me show you one more thing. So um, I bought this from Michaels and it's actually like a photo storage bin thing, but I've seen a lot of people at conventions buy this because they're like little bins. But basically if you have merch, you can uh, like organize them in here. That way when you're selling something to someone, you can very easily like label it, see it, and then just like grab it from the bin. And this was on sale at Michael's. It's usually like $40, but I think I bought it for like 15 or something. But yeah. Um, that's sort of it. <laughs> our um, Patreon printable for January and I usually work in RGB mode on my iPad on Procreate which is what I use to do my digital illustrations and it's a it's a risky game because I was uh, discussing this on Megan's stream the other day and Megan works in CMYK when she's drawing something that's specifically going to be printed and that way you get the most accurate color reading which is the way you're kind of supposed to do it, but I hate the CMYK like colors on Procreate. It's very different than when you bring it into Photoshop. I am like the CMYK wizard because I feel like I'm just used to knowing how the colors are going to reproduce on my printer and like most inkjet printers. And I don't know what this random doo-doo is on this paper, but I just printed it out and the colors look exactly like how I saw on my iPad. It's a little illustration of Kuni knitting. What do you want? The camera kind of washes out the colors, but it's pretty vibrant and a lot of inkjet printers are fairly vibrant, but the colors are uh, pretty accurate to the way that I painted them on my iPad. So I'm very happy with that. I'm actually going to turn this into a coloring page because when I did the line art, I was like, ooh, this could be a nice coloring page. So I also turned it into a phone wallpaper. So if you're someone that likes digital goodies and printables, uh, I have a $3 tier on my Patreon. I think it's the small beans tier but I will upload a digital goodie every single month and when you do join on Patreon if you are unfamiliar uh, you also get access to like literally everything else that I've posted within that tier uh, since I started Patreon last year. Uni! Why are you crying? No 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 ah! Why are you screaming when I'm recording?
Hello. First of all, check out my little silly melon soda earrings. Second, <laughs> I worked on something really fun last night. I was just experimenting with some shrink plastic I got from Daiso, Forbidden Curly Fry Kunis. <laughs> and I still don't know what I'm going to like do with them yet. I'm thinking about like making them into a pair of earrings for myself. Um, I had like several attempts before, but they were like all trash because <laughs> I couldn't figure out like what temperature to bake the shrink plastic. Uh, and I texted Megan, I was like, Megan, what temperature is the oven supposed to be? Um, so yeah, I failed twice, but third time was a charm. And I think I'm actually going to turn this into an acrylic keychain and I want it to be sparkly because um, I cannot for the life of me go through that again and like make them into like 10 pairs of earrings. But yeah, I, I look really cute today because I just filmed a little like artist self-care video for Patreon. So that'll be the video for January. Um, yeah. Look at my cute sweater. That's all. Bye. Uh, this was supposed to be delivered next week, but my iMac just arrived and that box is gargantuan. It's almost, I mean, obviously I know there's probably a bunch of cushioning stuff in there, but, but oh my God. But I <laughs> wanted to record because I finally got a new hard shell case for my laptop and it's been six years and literally the, so this is the new one. I wanted to show you the old one. It's so crusty. Look at it, like the stoppers are gone. It's freaking cracked here. Like so dusty, so dirty. I'm just gonna recycle the bottom, but I also have the top. So I'm a little, I'm feeling a little sad that like, this top will also eventually get replaced, but maybe I'll keep it on. I don't know, cause um, I mean, this the top the top little shell thing is fine. That one's not broken, but I kind of want to swap it out because I want to put some new stickers on it. But I've had this shell for six years, so you can see what my taste was like six years ago. But um, I am excited. I want to record a podcast for my patrons. After that, I will unbox her. I'm nervous and excited look they're so cute so so cute uh, i have decided to record in the bedroom because i just finished recording my podcast and julian is playing dark souls in the living room so i have a very exciting package that arrived today it is the ugly sketchbook by Ferran. it's an art book of her sketchbook of like i don't know how many sketchbooks it is but it's like a whole like scanned art book and you know I love art books so I bought two one for me and one for Julian okay are you guys ready <gasps> Fran wrote me a note <gasps> and I I <laughs> so much for buying my ugly sketchbook and all for all your support and kindness it truly means a lot to me especially coming from up here i'm up here and there's a little message from lou as well it says dearest radia thank you for your order it was packed with love and magical vibes listening to acid mountain by moon hooch i will listen to that my new packing music obsession, love to Kuni. There's a little drawing of Kuni. This love Lou. And there are stickers. I already have these stickers, but I'm going to obviously put them on more of my belongings because I love, ev love everything about Fran. Oh my God, massive inspiration to me. Beautiful little We Are Nice Humans postcard because that is her brand. The one, the only, or maybe actually it's edition number one of The Ugly Sketchbook. Oh, it's a chunky boy. Look. It feels so nice. It feels so nice. It's so good. I, I am having so many feelings. It feels like I'm going to throw up right now. <laughs> oh man, this is so... Oh. You need to buy this. So I pre-ordered this. 
Um, so glad that I did. Oh wow, the print quality is so good. I feel like it would be a crime to give some of it away, but like, look, the paper is so nice. It's so good. Man, I love art books so much. I also love like visual diaries and I feel like this is like a good visual diary. Um, I have been a patron of Fran for quite a while and she does upload her sketchbook. So if you do love looking into sketchbooks and like seeing high quality scans, I definitely recommend joining her Patreon. Seeing the scans while these were being uploaded and it's just, I'm so proud of people when they like publish. Like I'm, I love, I have so many of Fran's published zines and one day I want to get them signed. That is like a dream of mine. One day I need to get them signed like, like, Please sign it for me. I love it. 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 So much. Really? Here you go. This is for me? Yes. Oh, nice. Look, isn't yeah, it so these... pretty? Thank you. These are... Wow. There's really good motion in these. I specifically like what's going on here. And I like how they overlap. Mm. Yeah, these are hard. Thank you. so tired. My eyeliner is like gone here. Um, <laughs> I'm back from my tattoo touch up. This froggy is looking pretty nice. It's been a little over a year since I've had to get it touched up. Uh, the radiator is literally going so I apologize. I look slightly disheveled because I was supposed to go and hang out with some of Julian's friends to get dinner but my back was hurting. Um, and now I'm hungry, so. And finally, I'm going to make myself um, this Hello Kitty pasta. I'm gonna make vegan mac and cheese, so. So when I was a kid, my mom would make me like mac and cheese using like Kraft American singles. So the mac and cheese that I had growing up as a kid was very much on the like salty savory side rather than like boxed craft mac and cheese, which was like ridiculously sweet and also just like bright orange. Um, and all of the vegan mac and cheese recipes are like boiled cashews and potatoes and carrots. And I'm like, what? And this recipe is literally just like a bunch of spices. 
mixed together with like oat milk and it's like super duper easy and very cheap and uh, I will link the recipe below but this is the only mac and cheese that actually tastes good to me that's not just like boiled potatoes or something. I feel like I'm pouring in these ingredients and it looks so sketchy, but trust me, like, I feel like I'm making a potion, but uh, this this tastes good, I promise it does. It's just the, the, the cheese sauce looks looks very questionable, but um, once you add it to like um, a butter and flour roux, it'll thicken up and it, it'll, it, it, I promise, just follow me. <laughs> Remember when I said trust the process? Cause this is the cheese sauce. Yes. Yes. You already know. I'm gonna top it with some of this. Hello, you have made it to the end of this video. I feel like it's been a while since I recorded an outro or intro, and this is me recording the outro in March. So a lot has happened since January. I'm really glad that I got the chance to rest and realign myself because it's so necessary to take breaks, especially when you have a creative career, because otherwise you're risking burnout. And when that happens, I just never know how long I'm going to recover from that patch of just being completely exhausted. So I hope that me just like chilling out in January was entertaining for you. I am also so grateful to have that technology upgrade because editing videos has become lightning speed. Like it would take me an hour or a little bit more to export a video from Final Cut Pro and now it takes me like 10 minutes and you know, because my laptop, the screen is so small, it's hard to just like see everything all at once. And sometimes the program will slow down. And so I'm not as motivated to sit down and like edit the video. I literally edited this video in one and a half days. It used to take me two hours to upload a video on my laptop. And I also had to make sure my laptop wouldn't go to sleep. And with my desktop, it takes me like 40 minutes to upload a video. So that has dramatically changed my life. Like suddenly I have all of these hours to just either cut my workday shorter or at a normal hour because I just like work into the night. And I suddenly have like all this time that I don't know what to do with and I'm either putting it towards like relaxing and taking breaks or getting the projects that I want to get done much sooner, which has been amazing. I would still love to make video content outside of just like, here's what I did this month. So if you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comments because I would love to do more videos like draw with me's or even tutorials, something that's like shorter, laid back because that's kind of the content that I have on Patreon. If you like what you see here, I do have extra videos up on my Patreon on my highest tier. And so there's literally no pressure to join, but, but, but if this is of interest to you and if you have the ability to support me, consider pledging on my Patreon. Again, there is literally no pressure to do so, but I do assure you, you won't be disappointed. I literally would not be able to do this without your support or engagement. So if you haven't already, please give this video a like. And if you have made it this far into the video, congratulations, because for whatever reason, my videos are just like the length of a short film. I definitely feel like it's because I genuinely enjoy sharing what I'm up to and I also just love illustrating even though there's so many different components of the particular work that I do, especially as I'm illustrating but also I'm sharing content online. However, if you do enjoy this type of video, feel free to subscribe because I have plenty of other vlogs from the past. I especially want to thank my patrons over on Patreon. Uh, if you've ever been a patron or if you are currently a patron or you're planning to become a patron, thank you so much. They are the reason I have the ability to take creative liberties and take breaks and also the reason that I can upgrade my equipment. 
Before I go, I did want to let you guys know that I will be at Mocha Festival here in New York City on April 2nd and 3rd. This is one of the largest illustration, comics, and cartooning festivals here in New York City, so a lot of my March is being spent in preparation for that. I will leave all the details below, so if you happen to be in New York City or you're visiting around that time, I would love to see some faces because I work from home, so I'm not really interacting with people on a physical level, and I think there's a true joy when it comes to a attending art festivals because you're able to meet so many amazing people and also there are going to be so many amazing artists exhibiting there as well and it's been about four years since I've tabled so I'm kind of excited to see how everything gets wrapped up in the end and I will be tabling with one of my friends Amy aka Milkbox so we will be there together at booth B189 so if you can come through and show your support. Before I sign off for today, I do want to address what's happening in the world, especially with Ukraine. And I understand that certain things are not like my personal responsibility. However, because I have a platform and the ability to share resources and information, I am going to do my best to leave some links below in how you can support Ukraine. Again, I know it's not up to me to heal the entire world. However, there are other ways that I can share healing. And for me, that's through my artwork and through my videos so I hope that you were able to relax in this video a little bit and catch a bit of a break. Always makes my heart flutter whenever people tell me that my videos help with their anxiety because I know for a fact that there are certain creatives online where their content is just such a safe space for me and a place to decompress and just chill out. Look who I brought! Hey! We have a guest on the video. It is Miss Ivy Fasholo. Thank you so much for watching. Please pull up to Mocha Festival if you can, and if not, I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!